Hi everyone, welcome to Martini Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's been a little while since I filmed one of these and uh, today I'm really excited to film because I have two new eyeshadow palettes that I would like to compare along with some older ones in my collection and I hope that you guys will stick around and see what those palettes are and what we end up discovering about them. Well, hi everyone, happy Martini Monday. Look what I have. First of all, let's take a sip. I am drinking Cosmo. So cheers. I have two new eyeshadow palettes that I could not resist. I kept going back and forth and really wanting to just get one of them. But I got both, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I talk about how I'm trying to just rediscover my own collection and not buy a lot of new palettes, but both of these just looked so pretty, I couldn't resist. So the two palettes we're gonna be talking about today are the Nomad, the Okavango Safari palette. I know this is not in South Africa, but because I have traveled to South Africa twice in my life for my career, I'm a concert pianist. For those of you that don't know, hi, my name is Natalia, I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. This is what the palette looks like. This is the outer packaging. Both are absolutely stunning. Although I'll be honest, I am not an animal print sort of person. I love animal print in the wild. <laughs> so I love leopards and all things wild cats. And actually, mm, this palette inspired me to get this shirt. I saw this shirt two days ago at TJ Maxx and it has giraffes. It has giraffes and these beautiful trees. I have absolutely love this shirt. Definitely inspired by this. Like this I could deal with. This I am all about. Wearing leopard print, mm, never been my thing, but that's fine. This beautiful card came with the package and then I know I didn't need both. I absolutely did not need both, but I got both. So what I thought we would do today, it's late. I don't know if all the ideas I have for this video are actually gonna materialize, but what I really wanted to do was to create an eye look with the Nomad palette. Here she is in all her glory. I think it is absolutely stunning. We have been seeing this green, yellow, neutral, neutral leaning, cool uh, color story quite a lot. But then there's Natasha Denona, who I'm sorry, Natasha Denona does warm, always. As far as I'm concerned, and I know I'm very pale, in my opinion, all of her palettes lean warm. Here's her yucca, yucca, I don't know. I've heard so many pronunciations by now, I can't even figure out. So I've been seeing a lot of comparisons of this palette to a bunch of others, and I'm gonna try to do some of my comparisons, but I haven't actually seen a video that has on camera at least compared both of these palettes. So I figured we would try to do that today. And actually my idea, and I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I was thinking of maybe trying to create a look on each eye and see how close can we actually get. Are these palettes similar in any way, shape or form? I was thinking of doing that. And then I got a bunch of other palettes on board to see if maybe we could do some comparison swatches. I'm filming this as always super late at night. I'm actually not even home. I'm at my best friend's apartment. So I'm not filming on my usual ring light. I have my very small ring light with me. I don't know how the lighting is going to go. But in any case, today is going to be all about these two palettes and maybe some comparisons to whatever else I have, as well as possibly two looks that might be similar or different, I guess we'll see. So if you are on the fence about either one of these palettes, if you wanna hear my first impressions on both the color stories and the formulas, I hope you will stick around and keep on watching. Unfortunately, I was not able to photograph these brand new in daylight. I will still try to photograph them in daylight, but they will be swatched and a little bit destroyed by then. We have the Nomad Okavango Safari palette, as well as Natasha Denona 
Yuka palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do comparison swatches of both of these palettes. These are the only two I have from the new ones. I know that Odensai came out with two palettes, one of which has reminded a lot of people of these color stories, but these are the two that we're gonna focus on. I would love to see how these two compare. I usually don't do a lot of first impressions and reviews, but because both of these looked absolutely stunning, I got them both, so I figured why not explore them together with you guys. Since this shirt was inspired by Safari, and since the Nomad was actually the first palette I purchased, this is the one we're gonna go in with first. I mean, it is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Look, look at these imprints. I am also facing, uh, I'm doing like the front facing camera today so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Usually I do the opposite when I film at home, but since I'm not home today, I figured I would play it safe and do the front facing. So, all right, we're gonna go in with the first row which are these warm tone neutrals and we have five shades that are towering giraffes okay leaping lechwis lechwis oh my god i should have looked this up uh, elusive leopards roaring lions and pack of wild dogs i cannot believe i'm about to destroy these absolutely gorgeous gorgeous imprints i wish i had taken a photo that's all right there's lots of photos available out there on the internet but let's go ahead and swatch these first five shades on my arm here are the first three shades towering giraffes leaping Lechwis, Lech, oh my God, I'm embarrassing myself. Elusive Leopards. Sorry guys, I did these backwards. This was the first shade, the giraffes, towering giraffes, the second shade that I can't pronounce, and then the leopards, the elusive leopards. I didn't pay attention and did it all backwards. So there are those two shades, Roaring Lions, Pack of Wild Dogs. They look absolutely stunning. Yes, wow. Oh, that is so pretty. Wow. Okay, now looking at my phone, I do have to say, very cohesive color story, but at the same time, what makes it cohesive is how similar a lot of these shades are, but they do have a different variation of depth. So I am excited to try these on the eyes. I think this definitely would make a beautiful warm look. They are similar, but not in a bad way. Then we have the second row of greens. We've got Morami Game Reserve, Keystone Termites, from Bora Plains, Nile Crocodiles, and Chief's Island. So let's go through these five shades. So here's four of them. This is Marvi Game Reserve. I'm gonna do a second swatch right there. Keystone Termites. Beautiful, wow. Van Bora Plains, which is this gorgeous green in the middle. Okay, let me do that a little bit better. There we go. Nile Crocodiles is this shade right here. It's a beautiful shade. Let me build that up just a tiny little bit. Okay. And then finally, Chief's Island. That is a beautiful green right there on my ring finger. Let's do a second pass. So there's the five shades of the second row. And then finally we have Crash of Rhinos, Migrating Zebras, Rumbling Elephants, Mighty Buffalo, and Honking Hippos. That is the bottom row, which is the more cool toned neutral row right there. So Crash of the Rhinos, Migrating Zebras, Rumbling Elephants, Mighty Buffaloes. Here's those four shades. It's beautiful, wow. Wow. 
That's really nice. Honking hippos right there. So those are those five shades. So here's the whole palette. That is a beautiful palette. I do have to say, I'm excited about this. And then we have Natasha Denona. So this is the Nomad and this is Natasha Denona. Quick swatch here and then compare them. So let's do that. We've got Plantasia, Calathea, Komorebi, Acacia and Kamu Kamu. That's the first row right here. I am a lefty, so I usually swatch with my left hand on my right arm. I'm gonna try to do it backwards. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got Plantasia, Calathea, Kamarebi, Acacia. Wow, okay. Ooh, nice. So those are the first four shades right there. And then we have Kamu Kamu, which is that neon yellowy green that everybody is loving. Please remember guys that I am super fair. So I do have to say, and granted, bad lighting, but that is quite pale. I mean, it sh will show up on me, but anything will show up on me. So just keep that in mind. Then we have Tipu, Elijan, El uh, I don't know, Elijan, Elijan, Valley, Citrine, and Ray. Valley, Valley, Citrine, 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 yeah and Ray. So we're going to go with those four. Tipu, Elysian or Elysian, Valley and Citrine. That's those four shades right there. And the last one is Ray. I'm going to put that right there. So there's that row of five shades. And then finally we have Flax, Fushi, Makia, Ixia, and Willow. That is the last row right there. So Flax, Fushi, Makia, Ixia, and Willow. Ooh, Makia feels so soft. That's the shimmer right there. That's Makia. So we have Flax, Fushi, Makia, Ixia, and we'll come back to Willow. Flax, Fushi, Makia, which felt divine, Ixia, oh, that's beautiful, Willow. So there is the Natasha Denona palette right there. And here is Nomad. So you guys can compare. Okay, so here's the swatches. I'm gonna go wash this off so that I don't stain my new shirt. And then we're gonna see what looks we come up with. I just realized I had this stripe of contour that was not blended. Sorry if you guys saw that. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what similar look I can do with these palettes at the moment. I know for a fact that regardless of whether it's similar or not, I really want to use this Makia shade and I'm trying to find a comparable shade in the Nomad Cosmetics palette. And I do have to be honest, I'm not sure I can. I think there are a few mattes that are quite similar. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use those. But as far as the shimmer, I don't promise that it's going to be exactly the same, but I guess that's kind of the point of this video. I'd like to see if there are any similar shades. I'm 
might swatch some things um, as comparisons along the way. And if not, I will try to do that tomorrow for you guys along with some of these other palettes that I have in front of me. I'm going to do my left eye, which for you guys maybe is my right eye. I don't know because again, my camera right now is flipped where I can see myself and normally I don't film that way. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just being very blunt and honest with you guys right now. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in with the Nomad Cosmetics Okavango Safari palette first, and we're going to do an eye look on this eye. I will have the Natasha Denona close by as a reference because would like them to be at least somewhat similar. We're gonna go in with this. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. I think it's a Blend Bunnies. No, I'm sorry, this is a Sydney Grace brush, but I can't tell what the number is but it's just a blending brush and I'm gonna go in with towering giraffes in my crease And then still with the same brush, I'm gonna take this Moremi Game Reserve, which is this beautiful, like a mustardy green, kind of like a swampy green. And I'm gonna go slightly above. This is also a shade I would like to take on my lower lash line, but I like a more precise um, brush for that. So I'm gonna take this Unit 309, which is a much smaller brush. And I'm gonna take that green, the Morimi Game Reserve. For the outer V, I'm gonna take a combination of pack of wild dogs and honking hippos. I feel like the Natasha Denona palette has this flax shade that's sort of in between these two. It's not quite as deep and cool tone as this one, and it's not quite as bright and warm as this one. So I'm hoping the combination of those two shades is gonna give me a somewhat similar look as the Natasha Denona since I will be trying to recreate a similar look on the other eye with that palette. Okay, at this point, I think I'm gonna go in with a shimmer because I don't wanna be here all night, I'll be honest. Okay, we're gonna do some comparison swatches. So here's Nile Crocodiles from the Nomad palette. And here's Makia, which I really wanna use from Natasha Denona. They're not exactly the same. We also have Ray from Natasha Denona. None of these are similar. There's also Keystone Termites from Nomad. So these are kind of the shimmers that I'm eyeing. So these two are Natasha Denona. These two are Nomad. I'm hoping if I mix some combo of these, it'll work. All right, we're gonna go in with Nile Crocodiles first, even though it's not like anything in the Natasha Denona palette as far as I can tell. So there it is on the brush dry. I will go ahead and spray it. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I'm gonna turn the brush around and go in with that termites shade a little bit out here to blend it all in because I feel like that shade is closer in color to whatever I've got going on here on the outer corner. I did not spray it. Can you guys see that? That's really pretty. We're gonna take my initial blending brush and just blend. And we're gonna leave this where it is and go in with the Natasha Denona palette. So the first two shades I'm gonna take is Valley and Tipu and do kind of a similar thing here. I'm going to take my Luxie tapered blending brush for that. Nice. Going in with Tipu. Mm. 
these are definitely going in darker i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but this is definitely darker so i'm actually gonna go in with citrine and see if i can maybe brighten that up I feel like even citrine is pulling darker on me. So if you're darker skin tone, I would say Natasha Denona might be a better option. Next, I'm gonna take this Sydney Grace brush. I don't know, I can't tell these numbers, 40 something. And if you remember in my outer V in the Nomad palette, I took a pack of wild dogs and combined it with honking hippos because I felt like those two shades would be closer to flax. I'm wondering now if maybe that was a mistake because it seems like the Natasha Denona shades are pulling darker than what I'm envisioning in and what I'm seeing in the pan. Oh yeah, that is definitely darker. Can you guys tell? All right, next I'm gonna take my MAC 242. I'm gonna go in with Makia. I, I don't know what it compares to, if anything, but that shade is just calling to me. So we're gonna go with it. And then if I need to lighten it with anything, we'll see. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is so pretty. Can you guys see that? Oh, that is so pretty. And I have to say, while it is different, there is some similarity. I think the look here is more smoky and darker, but do we need two palettes to create almost the same look? Probably not. How can I lighten this? I'm gonna go in with Ray on the other side of this brush and see what that does. I don't know. I guess that brightened it a little bit, brought it a little bit closer to the Nomad. I'm gonna blend it out with my original blending brush. They're not the same. Nomad is lighter and brighter, and this is definitely more grungy. I like both. If I had to pick one, I wanna say I slightly prefer the Natasha Denona formula. I would love to hear what you guys think. I know this is, again, not the best lighting, but we're rocking what we can. I already have a little bit on the lower lash line from Nomad. I'm going to go ahead and also figure out my lower lash line here for my Natasha Denona. I'm gonna take a combination of Tipu and Citrine. And this is, by the way, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics B3 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner and mascara, and we'll come back and see if we have a comparable inner corner highlight. Here's what we have so far. With a little bit of liner and mascara, Nomad. Natasha Denona. And for inner corner highlight, I do have to say, Kamu Kamu is calling my name and there's nothing comparable in the Nomad palette. In fact, there's nothing honestly light enough for me to use as an inner corner highlight. So I think I'm just gonna do Kamu Kamu in both, on both sides. Proper English, not a thing at the moment. I'm not gonna spray it or anything. I'm going to put some on the Nomad side, and I'm gonna put some on the Natasha Denona side. What do we think? I like it, I like it a lot. So guys, except for Kamu Kamu, we've got Nomad on this side, Natasha Denona on this side. What do we think? I haven't done comparison swatches yet. I hope to tomorrow during daylight or I will have to create another look, but we've got these two looks so far. And I wanna know how similar do you guys think these are? Cause yes, I bought both palettes, but did I need to? If you don't think I did, don't tell me, please. Don't tell, tell me, but don't tell me. <laughs> 
I'm kidding. Anywho, hopefully I will be back with more fun stuff tomorrow. Cheers, because this is gonna be the last cheers you see, because if I do come back with another look and some comparison swatches, it's gonna be in the first half of the day and your girl is not gonna be drinking a martini before a full teaching day. So thank you so much for joining me for this part of Martini Monday. Cheers. And um, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow for me, today for you. Hi guys. So today I am going to do a second look with the Natasha Denona Yucca and the Nomad Cosmetics um, Akavango Safari palettes. I am about to go to work. So this is gonna be a very quick and easy I look and instead of trying to do a comparison like I did last night I'm just going to I think use mattes from one of the palettes and shimmers from the other on both eyes just so I don't look crazy because after doing a whole bunch of swatches which hopefully I would have already posted in this video or if not maybe I'll insert a clip right here these are comparison swatches of the Nomad Akavango Safari palette and the Natasha Denona Yoka palette these are all the mattes. So on this side is the Nomad Cosmetics and on this side is the Natasha Denona. For the Nomad, the first three shades are Towering Giraffes, Moremi Game Reserve, and the third one down is Crash of the Rhinos. And on this side from the Natasha Denona palette, we have Valley, Tipu, and Acacia. Then the next three in the Nomad are Elusive Leopards. That's the warm brown right there then the green is the Vimboro plains and then the grayish shade is rumbling elephants and then the three on the natasha denona side are ixia citrine and calathea which i believe is a cream to powder so it doesn't quite swatch as it shows up in the pan and then the last three of the nomad are pack of wild dogs chief's island and honking hippos I think that says honking hippos. And then the three on the Natasha Denona side are Fushi, Willow, and Flax. And then there is a 10th matte shade in the Natasha Denona palette, which is Kamu Kamu, that bright lime yellowy green. So again, this is the Nomad side. Here's the Natasha Denona. And here they are compared to each other. So you can see there are some similarities for sure, but then there are some shades that of course are completely different. And the texture and the feel of the mattes is also very different. They don't swatch the same by any means. For the shimmers, we have a Natasha Denona on this side, and these are the Nomad Cosmetics shimmers. So over here from top to bottom, we've got Natasha Denona's shades Plantasia, Komorebi, Elysian, Ray, and the bottom one is Makia. And then on this side from the Nomad Cosmetics, the Yakovengo Safari, we have Leaping L Lechwees? Lech Lechwees? I'm sorry, I should have looked that up. I did not. Keystone Termites, Mighty Buffaloes, Nile Crocodile, which I feel like is kind of in between these two shades from Natasha Denona. If we merged those two, we might get something similar to the Nile Crocodiles. And then the bottom two, I didn't feel were similar to anything at all, so I swatched them slightly separately, and that is Roaring Lions and Migrating Zebras. So again, here's the Natasha Denona shimmers and then the nomad and this is all done in front of a window in daylight in case you guys are wondering so mats nomad on the left natasha denona on the right shimmers natasha denona on the left nomad on the right but yeah after doing those swatches i realized that even though some of the shades are similar ish the tones the undertones the depth of them are different enough where it's really hard actually to come up with exactly the same look. So ones that at least wouldn't be too noticeable on the eyes as being different. And I don't want to go to work and teach children with two different eyes today. That is just too many topics of conversation that I don't want to get distracted with while working with 
kids. So I think I'm going to use the mattes from the Nomad palette. Is that what I'm gonna do? Also, I am filming in daylight, but the window, as you guys can see, is behind me. I just think this little ring light gives off a really warm and unflattering light. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be okay for today. I think I'm gonna go with Nomad mattes because I feel like I prefer them at the moment and Natasha Denona shimmers because these shimmers in this palette are really really beautiful when I swatched them again today I was so 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 happy with the results they are smooth and buttery they swatch really easily whereas with the mattes it's the opposite I found it harder to swatch the Natasha Denona mattes much easier to swatch the Nomad ones they are softer they're creamier I think that's what I'm gonna do and I think for this one I might just speed through this look and not talk through it again just because I am in a hurry but we'll see how it goes I'm gonna go in with elusive leopards and I am staying with my best friend I didn't bring an eyeshadow primer I forgot to put concealer down so we're just rolling with what what is on my eyes right now which is basically nothing Next, I'm gonna take a pack of wild dogs and just put that in the outer part of my eye. And then today, I think I would like to try Plantasia all over my lid. And since I don't love using my fingers, but I don't want a lot of fallout, I am going to spray it. That shimmer is really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see again. Maybe I'll try to turn around at the end of this video and show you guys the look facing the window. I don't know if you can tell on the brush. All the different sparkles. I think I'm gonna take Komorebi and just put that on my inner corner, mainly because I just want to use another shade. I don't know if that's better. I figured I'd turn the ring light on for a second just in case. And then on the lower lash line, I'm just gonna do, I think, the same two mattes and call it a day. With this Natasha Denona collection, there were three, well, there are three eyeliners that also released and I really wanted those. But right now I just couldn't justify paying that much money as it is. I mean, this is a $69 eyeshadow palette and it really is something I shouldn't have even splurged on. That kind of justified it because June is my birthday month. So I was like, oh, this is kind of going to be part of my birthday gift to myself. So this is what we have. Let me turn on the ring light. Very simple, easy, fast. I look I might try to bring the phone over to the window and show you guys and then wrap this video up just because otherwise I'm gonna be late for work I posted a picture of some other eyeshadow palettes that I have actually in front of me that I was hoping to do comparison swatches of but there's just no time so if I want this video to go up it's not gonna go up at this point on a Monday because it's already Monday afternoon I work the rest of the day there's just no way I'm gonna edit and upload in time but I would like to get this video up either tomorrow or Wednesday for you guys. And if you want to let me know what palettes you would like me to do comparison swatches on, I could do an additional video on these palettes. I would love that actually, because so far the two looks that I created, I guess three technically, because yesterday I did a Nomad look on one eye, a Natasha Denona look on the other, and today I combined the two palettes. I have a feeling I'll be playing with these a lot. Oh, I just realized I didn't even put on any lip 
product. So let's do Natasha Denona's liner in Natasha and then I'll probably just throw on a gloss or a balm or something like that and I will be right back. Here we are in daylight. I put on a lip. It's Natasha Denona liner in Natasha from her My Dream collection and um, the Lawless Forget the Filler gloss uh, that came in a Sephora kit. I can't remember the shade name. Sorry, I don't even know where to look because I'm just holding my phone, but I just wanted to show you guys the look in daylight and just quickly say goodbye. As I said already, if you guys want me to do comparison swatches and do another video with more looks, please let me know. I would love to. I'm really enjoying these two palettes so far. Other than that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. Let me know if you've picked up either, neither, both of these palettes. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think so far. I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy, taking care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys. If not, should I do an outro? How do people do this? How do people plan their filming? And Just in case, I'm gonna close this out. So yeah, if I don't get a chance to come back, then I wish you guys an amazing week. I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you are continuing to stay safe and healthy, take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers and bye everyone.